Hello YouTube and fellow gun collectors, this is Patrick1969 with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Zuda mobile suit. This is uh, one of the newer mobile suit and action figures. This is the Captain class, as you can tell from the uh, Captain's antenna. Um, from what little backstory I know about this mobile suit, this was a rival company um, prototype mobile suit. Uh, not this one in general, this is actually a souped up version of the prototype. But uh, this mobile suit was in competition with the Zaku, either one or two, I believe it was one, uh, to see which one was uh, would um, meet the specifications to be, uh, um, what do you call it, army ready basically. Um, so anyways, I'll be showing you, you know, what it comes with. This one's not complete, I actually got this in a trade, but um, I know a fair amount of what it actually comes with and uh, I've looked uh, greatly into acquiring more of these and so I know the average price this goes for um, from Japan or Hong Kong wherever you're looking for it and uh, so let's get started with the the mobile suit itself as you can see it looks very very different from any uh, any other Xeon mobile suit um, let me just start with the main feature that I thought was really kind of odd. Uh, it looks like this guy has hydraulic arms, and uh, if you push them down, as you can see, his arm extends, and he has full mobility in it. You know, turns at the at the uh, elbow and everything. Arms go up and down. There's actually a double joint. You can't tell, but there is. Um, this one's actually a little bit customed out too by uh, the person I got it from. He actually added an extra shield. It's only really supposed to come with one, and I'll, I'll take it off right there. There we go. I'll take that off. It's only supposed to come with one, but he gave me an extra one, which I thought was really cool. Um, um, his name was uh, Gundam Collector. Uh, this is what I got from him. He's a really good, uh, nice guy. So, um,. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, as you can see, he has the uh, Zaku 2 machine gun. He actually came with two. That's another little uh, gift from Gunham Collector he gave me. Um, he's actually supposed to come with an, uh, a Zaku bazooka, but um, he couldn't find it, so Gunham Collector just added the extra gun. Um, he comes with clip and a heat hawk. I believe this is a Type 3 heat hawk. And so, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the weapons. I can't tell clearly from the stock photos on eBay and all the other places I, I, I see this figure for sale at, uh, if he comes with extra hands. If, if so, um, you know, I suppose they would be just one other set and that'd be the closed fist. He also comes with, um, shield, uh, rockets, as you can see right there. And the cool thing about his shields is, uh, as you can see, he has a little handle which actually does extend out. And then he can hold it in his hand and, you know, use it as such. Um, one thing, or uh, the main reason why this mobile suit in, in the in the series or in the history of Gundam uh, never made it to a full production line uh, was due to the, the booster. Apparently, uh, the, the thruster or whatever uh, was flawed in some way to where if it hit a certain maximum point it um, automatically blow up and kill uh, the pilot so and I believe in the story in the back stories there's only three of these mobile suits uh, left and they're piloted uh, by um, various people not various people but uh, a few odd people um, throughout the one-year war so anyways, this is a this is a Captain class uh, Zuda. There's actually three others, I believe, um, ranging from two, three, and a four. Um, yeah, two, three, and four. And so this would make it number. This uh, Captain Zuda would make it number one. Uh, he has um, pretty much the basic uh, new MSIA uh, joints, where you know he bends at the knees and two and. Uh, I put him down with two joints and everything. He has thrusters on his calves, which are pretty neat. He has the uh, really nicely uh, articulated uh, feet right there. 
So anyways, this figure is, um, can be easily found if you like what you see. Um, best place so far I've, I've seen it at is eBay. Um, the only thing is, of course, getting it for the right price. And after a long time looking, because I, am, I have been trying to collect all of them, um, after a long search, I found that the average price has usually been around 20, uh, the lowest to 25. And uh, that's with shipping included. And uh, as I see it, you know, that's a pretty fair price. Um, compared to um, the Zaku 2 version 2, this is actually a really, really nice uh, nice figure. I mean, I was so surprised by it. I, I was kind of put off by the whole, uh, by the whole uh, hydraulic arm system going on, but I actually, um, I actually kind of like it now. So, um, so yeah, best place uh, to look for this guy is eBay. Um, and as I said, $20 to 25 um, you will get those sellers who think, oh, you know, it's really hard to find in America, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, jack up the price around 50 bucks. You know, don't fall into those, those sellers. You don't need to. Um, there's plenty of fair people out there who, uh, sell you for what it's actually worth and, uh, you know, give you the, the, the right deal on it. Um, the only problem is, you know, you might have a problem or you might have a difficulty, uh, a difficult time searching uh, for the other uh, numbers like two three and four uh, and so that 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 in itself is the challenge really with this figure so um that's it thanks for watching and uh hope you like the video and uh hope to help you uh, sorry <laughs> expand your collection all right bye